Hey there, okay, here's another one. Actually, I'd almost forgot about this one, but I'm going to cover it in this video anyway. It's going to be a short video because we have talked about the Harami a few times when we were talking about, um, you know, a different formation showing you, like, for instance, let's just show you the chart. Actually, let's show you what a bearish Harami looks like, first of all, actually. Okay, so, all right. We're coming in from a downtrend and we're just starting to see a reversal and we're going up with the trend and you can start to see a ball bar right here and then an, a bearish bar comes in like so alright it sits within the top portion of that area right there then you need you need to have a confirmation it's absolutely vital to have confirmation now there's two different types of confirmations that you can have um, at least in my view okay the first one is to make sure that the close is lower than this one this low right here which I would not prefer I prefer to actually have my close come down to there to confirm this two bar setup two bar setups I really do like to have an extra stronger confirmation the the, the regular rule of pharma as, as I say if the confirmation bar comes in and it stops there but it's low on that one that's kind of okay but the sentiment is not all that great I prefer to have a larger move on the way down and have a close below the first day's close all right, and that will give me more confidence to take that trade and go short all right these again only happen at the top of trends okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the chart and see how that looks Alright, we've got quite a few examples. There seems to be a lot more Harami examples more than anything else really out there. This, um, my chart's kind of got messed up for a little bit. Uh, okay, let's so, um, move to a different time frame. Okay, and here's our Harami right here. Now the Harami I believe is derived from when you see when the the high doesn't go any higher than the, the previous high and the low doesn't go any lower than the previous low but mainly it's contained within the body of the first candle okay and then we wait for another one look here as you can see again this is another one right there and and here is another one. So yeah, the body is actually being contained within the first um, body as well. It hasn't broken out or anything like that. So first thing you need to do is to make sure that you are at the top of the trend. And if you are at the top of the trend, is wait for a con well, wait for a confirmation. I would rather do these on larger time frames. Um, the longer the candles that you get, the better as well. Okay, now if we've got some Haramis coming in here. Okay, now just say this is one of the reasons, another reasons why I like to say, you know, to actually have the close to be closing lower than the previous, uh, well, the first day's one. Okay, I always count that as day one and then that day two and the confirmation is day three. Alright, so this is why I say I like to see that the close here of this white candle to be lower. Well, actually closed lower than this blue ca candle this would give me more reason to say okay that we're at the top of a trend now and it's going to come and reverse so we can see that the, this is another harami here and it failed this you know in my view it didn't come down low and that that's why it went up higher all right i have seen it other times when the next bars come down but i would still prefer to have that confirmation candle to tell me that it is going to you know um, come back down now this one this one's a nicer one. It made a, although it made a new high, but it also made a new low. Okay, and it made a, a new low based on, you know, from its first candle. If let me just take some of this junk out of the way so you can see what's going on just a little bit. All right, like we can see that the wick of this one, the top and the bottom, the top actually exceeded the first day's bar, but the bottom part of the wick didn't go lower than the first day's low. But this one here, it did. All right, we've got the high. Okay, but the market decided to close a lot lower than it's open, but it also made a new low. All right, so that's indecisive in the market. We're telling the market, saying that we're going to get ready to go the other way. 
right here is like another one over here okay uh, the confirmation was much better I got a good feeling that this will continue to keep coming down probably towards the top part of this Bollinger Band or somewhere at the next support area so we look maybe looking around about 133.95 134.50 area or something like that so about another 130 140 pips so I'd like to see this come down a little bit more all right we might have actually we might even just close off at around about here as well so that's the top of that so maybe 135 it might come down a little bit more on the, like the Monday um, candle okay so this is why I say when you don't have this confirmation here when that low doesn't come down lower than this one which would be nice because you don't really need confirmation after that but the next bar comes in and it did actually close off where I like it to close so if I'd actually been alert and on this time frame at the particular time I would have gone short right here okay and I would have got that in at around about 136 so it'd only be around about 20 pips up so far but I'd be pretty confident in saying that this will come back down all right, so we'll find that out in, in uh, probably next week. All right, so there you go. There is the bearish uh, Harami. Okay, and make sure that you um, go through this video again. If there's any points that you don't understand, you know, let me know, and um, we can help you out. All right, so until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.